What is going on guys? In today's video, I'll be rebuilding the Dallas Mavericks because obviously they need to be rebuilt. They have a few ugly contracts and a lot of players up there in age. Players past their prime. We got Dirk Nowitzki, 37 years old. He's going to retire at any moment. He's the anchor of this team. He's a future Hall of Famer, but some other players on this team like Villanueva and Harris and Felton, just some players nobody wants here. Darren Williams is past his prime. So let's get right into these moves here. Let's see, actually, before I do that, let's go see these uh, player contracts here. Look, look at this. Wesley Matthews is going to make almost $19 million in a few seasons. I'm no way of paying him that. Parsons is going to make $16 million. Dirk is cheap. All these players are like short term contracts, very cheap deals as well. So that's pretty good. But these two contracts, Parsons and Matthews, I want to get rid of here. So my first trade here, I want the. the Washington that Wizards first round pick because I know they always do terrible in the first season, but they're playing hardball right now. They want some uh, some players that I want to I want to give up, but in the end, this is what I end up doing. I get a trade: Berea, Zaza Pachulia, and the Grizzlies 2016 second round pick for the Washington Wizards first round pick in 2016. Allen Anderson and Drew Gooden. This is a good trade for us because I wanted to get rid of Berea and his, 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 it wasn't a bad contract. It was like I think three or four year deal, but I wanted to get rid of it anyways. And Al Anderson and Drew Gooden are both one-year deals, so I'll just release them anyways. Up next, I wanted the Wizards, I'm sorry, the Raptors first-round pick, because they have actually the Nuggets 2016 first-round pick. And I know the Nuggets always do terrible as well in 2016. So I was trying to get that. I wanted to get rid of Wesley Matthews anyways, so those are two birds and one stone here. So I'm going to trade Wesley Matthews, my 2017 first-round pick, to Toronto for the, the Nuggets 2016 first-round pick, and Luis Scola. Now, up next... Uh, I want to do something else here. Um, okay, I want to get a channel of Parsons here because his contract is expiring. I know it's expiring, but it's still $15 million. I'm not going to resign him anyways. I want to get rid of him, get something back in return, something decent for this team. I don't know what they're going to offer me here. There should be a bunch of offers. Okay, here we go. Chris Middleton ain't bad. Jake Crowder. I want to get Jake sure Crowder again. Paul Pearson, Lance Stevenson. Jeff Green. Dennis Schroeder ain't bad. I almost did, it. I almost did this Dennis. Dennis Schroeder and Tiago Splitter deal because Dennis Schroeder is a nice young point guard. You can see he's only 22 years old. He has a nice cheap contract. Al Jefferson, I got to throw in my first round pick. This Rudy Gobert and Trevor Booker deal, I like. I want to jump on that right away, but I want to see what other teams were going to offer me before I did that. Tobias Harris wouldn't be a bad deal either. Eric Gordon is actually a nice offer as well. I know his contract is up there, but he might resign for a cheaper deal. Andre Drummond, I almost got Drummond, but I, I got him in my last uh, rebuilding video. I want to get the same players over and over again in every rebuilding video. I want to keep it different here, keep it, you know, keep it moving nicely. So, I was going to this, um, back to the short deal, but in the end, I ended up going after Rudy Gobert and Trevor Booker. It was just too good of a deal to pass up. So, I'm going to get rid of Chandler Parsons and Dwight Powell and send them to Utah for Rudy Gobert and Trevor Booker. And I like that deal for both sides. Well, not really for Utah because now they have Gordon Hayward and Charlie Parsons. Two big contracts. That's a pretty ugly, ugly situation now in Utah. But here's my starting five. Darren Williams, Allen Anderson. Anderson again for small forward. Dirk Nowitzki and Rudy Gobert at center. So let's go right into the season here. Submit the entire year. And I'll see you guys at the end of the year to show you if we need to play or not. And this season awards. But before I can do that, we offer, we offered a trade here. I had, to, I had to bite, I had to jump all over it. I don't know what the Pelicans were thinking here, but they're going to offer me Eric Gordon and Dante Cunningham for Darren Williams and Charlie Villanueva. So of course I'm going to do this. I don't know what they were smoking over that New Orleans, but it's an absolute steal for us. So here's your Darren Williams, Charlie Villanueva for Eric Gordon and Dante Cunningham. So once again, let's go back to the year here. Before I before I could do that, this, uh, this is by midway through the season at the All-Star break, the trade line. Houston offered me Terrence Jones from Maurice Nador and John Jenkins. I don't know what they were thinking either, but of course I'm going to do this. I got Terrence Jones now, a backup power forward beyond Dirk and Wissy. Here we go, season awards. LeBron James wins your MVP. Jaleel Okafor gets NBA Rookie of the Year. Nikola Mirotic of the Bulls wins NBA's Sixth Man of the Year. DeAndre Jordan gets their defensive player of the year with three blocks and 15 boards a game. Absolutely ridiculous. And Eric Bledsoe gets NBA's most improved player. David Blatt or LeBron James gets your coach of the year. Now, we did not make the playoffs here. We went 41 and 41. Let's see, leading the way was Dirk and Whiskey. Probably his final year, 22 and 72 assists. 
Eric Gordon at 22 and 6 for us. Louis School at 11, 8, and 2. Justin Anderson at 11, 4. Trevor Booker at 11, 8. Harris at 10, 2, and 7. Felton at 10, 2, and 6. Tanner Jones at 10, and 7. Look at Gobert. He's injured with day to day. 6, 12, and 2 blocks. It's ridiculous stats. And nobody else did pretty much anything to report. Okay. Team stats here. Like I said, we, get, we went 41 and 41. Our offense was uh, ninth best. And our defense was fourth worst. Wow, that's brutal. Okay. That's why we missed the playoffs. Our defense is garbage. So I'm going to sim with the entire playoffs here. Let's see who makes it to the NBA Finals and who wins the Finals MVP award. Okay, we've got the Memphis Grizzlies and Miami Heat. And the Miami Heat beat the Grizzlies in five games, four games to one to win the NBA championship. Your Finals MVP is Dwayne Wade with 19, 5, 8, 3 steals, 1.4 blocks. Yeah, he wanted that championship, but he, did he ever. Players retired are Kevin Garnett, Tim Bucket, Steve Nash, Vincent Carter, Ray Allen, Andre Miller, Jason Terry, Nazi Muhammad, Kmart, Haley Turgaloo, Donald Haslam, Reggie Evans, Brendan Haywood, John Salmons, Luke Rednow, so Butler, and a bunch of other players not worth mentioning. Terry starts. Terry, sorry, Terry Stotts is your retire, your coach retiring. Going to the Hall of Fame is Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, Ray Allen, Steve Nash, and Vincent Lamacada. Let's go right into the draft lottery here. We are expected to get, I think the, where are we, hold on. Let's see where we are. Okay, we were the ninth and we get the second, okay. So second from the Wizards, ninth from the Nuggets, okay. So the Wizards actually paid off more than the Nuggets deal did. So let's see where we fall. 14th goes to the Suns, 13th goes to the Celtics. The 12th pick goes to the Charlotte Hornets. 11th goes to the Celtics. The 10th goes to the Pelicans. Ninth goes to Oscar. Uh, look at the ninth overall pick. Not too bad. The eighth goes to the Bucks. Seventh goes to the T Wolves. Sixth goes to the Sixers. Fifth goes to the Nuggets. And the fourth pick goes to the Jazz. The third goes to the Magic. Okay. So we could get the first overall spot. Number two goes to the Sixers. Wow. So we got the number one pick in the draft. I don't believe it. Oh, 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 man. Okay, guys. So we got the first overall pick in the draft. Let's go right into the draft and see what we can do here. Who do we get first overall? I can't wait. Okay. Let's send my right to the draft. Okay. And here we go. NBA draft. Do I take Ben Simmons? Do I take Malik Newman? Who do I take? Jalen Brown? I don't know. I'm just pumped. This is the future of our team right here through the draft. But before I can draft anybody, I got I received 16 trade offers for my pick. Now, of course, I'm going to see who I can get here. I'm actually thinking I might trade my pick if the right offer comes along. So let's see what I can get. Phillies off from their second overall pick, the future first rounder. I can get Chris Middleton from the Bucks, Isaiah Thomas, and Derek Favors, Kimball Walker, Gordon Hayward. Jazz, Christoph Porzingis, no thanks, Tobias Harris, so, and the third overall pick, Brooke Lopez, Miles Stern, Andre Drummond, no thanks, Kyle Lowry, Wesley Matthews, wow, dude. I can get Wesley Matthews back, I can get Bledsoe, or, and, Knight. wow, but this trade just blew me away, I can get Damian Lillard, and Portland's 2018 first round pick for my 2016 first round pick, now, do I tr do I draft a decent young rookie here, or I get a star, a superstar right now in Damian Lillard, probably arguably one of the best point guards in the league right now? And this is a tough decision for me to make. Do I draft for the future, or do I win, try to go for a championship right now and get Damian Lillard? I'm, I'm gonna do it, guys. I know I'm probably gonna get bashed for this, but Damian Lillard, this is too big of a piece just to give up like that, and I end up doing it. So Damian Lillard for my first round pick. I can't believe what I'm doing here, but this guy is an absolute beast. I'm very happy with him. So they end up getting Jalen Brown. For, this, for my ninth overall pick here, I don't need a point guard. I know Jalen Brunson, Isaiah Briscoe out there, but I don't need a point guard anymore. I got Damian Lillard here, so I need a shooting guard. I might go with Antonio, uh, sorry, Antonio Blakely, Blakeney, if I can say his name properly. I don't want Chase Jeter. So let's go see what the board say. Everyone's saying Jalen Brunson and Zia Briscoe, two point guards, which I don't need, like I said before. So I'm going to go after um, Antonio Blakeney here. He looks like the best guy left. I'll need a power forward. Power forwards are fine. 
<clears throat> so I think, okay, do some more scouting here. <laughs> Everyone's saying get Briscoe and Brunson, but I don't want them. I can't believe I got Damian Lillard, man. That's crazy. Evan Rabnell, Damian Jones, Corey Sanders. Uh, see, everyone's saying Antonio Blakeney. Every board. Let's see, okay. Let's see one last time here. Okay, let's get him. Antonio Blakeney, welcome to the Dallas Mavericks, my future starting shooting guard at the ninth overall pick. 6'4, 180. He's kind of short, kind of skinny for a shooting guard. We'll let him have a 6'6, maybe 200 ish, but. Either way, we got a decent, nice, young point, oh, sorry, shooting guard for our future. So I'm going to sim it the rest of the way. Of course, I'm going to sign my rookie here. Two years, almost $5 million. Let's go team player option. So Dirk Nowitzki actually declined his player option. He probably wants more money from me. I'm going to give him whatever that man wants. Drew Gooden, I'm not going to bring, bring back either. And this uh, Salah Misery guy, I have no chance of bringing him back. But I'll bring back Rudy Gobert for a cheap two-year deal. Oh, wow, what a steal for me. It's big name. The big name dropping is declining is LeBron James, Pau Gasol, Dirk Nowitzki, of course, and Ty Lawson. Qualifying offer is Terrence Jones. I'll sign him for a one-year, $3.5 million deal. Okay, so Dirk Nowitzki, I'm going to pay you whatever you want, buddy. I'll give you 12... Oh, okay, easy, easy. I'll give him $12 million for a one-year deal. Last year, mainly we're on 8.5. Look at this. Eric Gordon testing free agency. Terrence Jones, Trevor Booker, Luis Scola, Drew Gooden. Like, pretty much everyone is testing free agency. And I'm going to let everybody walk. The only person I'm going to sign, resign here is Dirk Nowitzki. And I'll see who I can get in free agency here. So Dirk Nowitzki, of course, he agrees to a one-year $12 million deal. And I still have $47 million left in cap room. So I'm going to sign pretty much everyone here. I want, like... I'll sign Whiteside. We need a decent center here. I'm going to give him $10 million. Three-year deal, $10 million at least per season. Let's get Brandon Jennings as well. Let's get everybody. Joel Johnson will give him, let's say, $8 million. Nice, and, nice even numbers here. Easy numbers to work with. Colby, I'll raise you up. I'll give you $13 million. You know what? I'll give you $14 million. Just because I'm generous today. Brandon Jennings. Okay, uh, let's go with Eric Gordon. Look at that deal. What a sweet deal now. He, he just dropped in price here. I'm going to sign him for $8 million for three years per. Okay. Mozgov, why not? I'll sign Mozgov too. I'll give him seven, I guess. Yeah, seven. Okay, nobody else I really pretty much want there. So let's go after Kobe now. Wait, sorry. Let's go after Brennan Jennings here. Jennings, I'll give you ten, I guess. Yeah, fine, ten. Okay, sign pretty much everyone here. J.R. Smith, how do you get J.R. Smith? Why not? I'll give you two years and seven million dollars per season. Okay. And last but not okay, here we go. Who do I get? I'm gonna sign pretty much everybody here. So one guy I can't sign. So I'm gonna sign sign Whiteside, Joe Johnson, and Kobe Bryant, Eric Gordon. It's just between Mozgov and Jennings. So who should I get rid of here? Mozgov, Jennings, Kobe. Right, okay, I'm gonna get rid of uh okay. I signed everybody. I didn't sign um Mozgov there, so Here's the rankings for the next season. We are 7th according to 2K Sports, and we are 6th according to Mark Spears, and 6th as well according to NBA.com. The starting five is pretty deadly. We've got Lillard, Kobe, Joe Johnson, Dirk Nowitzki, Rudy Gobert with Jennings, Whiteside, Eric Gordon off the bench. That is scary. Our team is deep to say the least. So let's go right into this season here. I'm going to simulate the entire... Okay, actually, before I do that, let's go see any free agents. No one's out there to sign. So let's go right into the season here. Simulate the entire year. And let's see how we do this year. Okay. Off to a bad start. But here we go. Season awards. LeBron... Sorry. Kevin Durant with some ridiculous stats. Wins MVP 38-7 with two blocks. Ben Simmons, the guy I could have got to get the rookie of the year with 16 and 10 at 1.5 blocks. Jabari Parker gets six man. Why is he coming off the bench? Jabari Parker for the Bucks, okay. Anthony Davis wins defensive player of the year. Look at these numbers, 25, 13, and 3. And most improved goes to the MCW. So the Bucks had a pretty good year this year. And Tyrone Lou wins coach of the year. That's surprising. Now, we did make the playoffs here. We got a 50 and 32 record. We're playing the OKC Thunder in the first round. A pretty scary team in the playoffs. Let's go see how our season went. Dirk led the way with 28 and 2. Lillard had 8, 4, and 6 with two steals. Kobe's injured for a couple weeks at 15, 4, and 4. Jennings had 14, 2, and 5. 
George Hudson had 14, 3, and 4. Eric Gordon had 11, 2, and 4. Uh, okay, Johnson, okay, Whiteside had 7, 13, and 3 blocks. Same with Gobert, 7, 14, and 3 blocks. So, two very beastly numbers for both those guys. And then everyone else did ch chipped in what they could. They're pretty much nothing. Let's go to team stats here. We went 15 and 32, seventh best record in the league. Our offense was third best. Our defense wasn't that great. Defense was middle of the pack there. Okay, 103.6 per game. All right, here we go. Game one of the first game against the Thunder. And game one, we win. Game one, okay. Game two, we take it. And a close one. Game three, we win. And yet another close one. And OKC takes game four. By nine and game five, we win it. Okay, we're playing the Clippers in the next round, the one seat in the West, a very scary team as well. Here we go, game one. <laughs> they take game one, a close one. Game two, <laughs> yet another nail biter. Game three, we actually blew them out. Okay, game four, we take as well, another close one. Game five, we win. We beat the Clippers in five games. I don't believe it. We're going on to the Western Conference Finals. We're playing the Houston Rockets. Wow, okay. Here we go. Game one, we take game one. Game two goes to us. We're up 2-0 in the series. Game three, oh my goodness, we're up 3-0. Bring out the brooms. Can we sweep them? We sweep the Houston Rockets in four games. In the Western Conference Finals, we're playing the Atlanta Hawks in the NBA Finals. Who do the Atlanta Hawks have? They're the four seed in the East. They made it all the way to the NBA Finals. I'm pretty sure they have the same core of, um, you know, Horford, Millsap. They got Horford, Millsap, T got Tim Hardaway Jr. and Demar Carroll. Okay, they got Carroll back. Wow, interesting. All right, so that's pretty much the only difference on our team here. So let's see how we do against the four seed Atlanta Hawks. Here we go, game number one at home, and we take it. Okay, up one on the series, number two. We're up 2-0 in the series, but we win by 10. Game 3, no way. We cannot sweep the Atlanta Hawks in the NBA Finals here. Let's go see how we do. Okay, we're up 3-0 here. Let's simulate with SimCast so I can get a live look in, in case we do win the NBA Finals. Okay, we can get a live look in, in the game when it's almost about to end. It's a pretty close game in Game 4 here. Okay, we're starting to blow them away now. We took a small lead here. Okay, they're getting closer, and the lead just keeps expanding. Oh, okay, we got this. We got this, and we're gonna win. We're gonna sweep Atlanta Hawks in the NBA Finals. I can't believe it. So, with 15 seconds to go, up 16 points. I'll let Marv Albert here take it away. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth. On the floor right now for the Mavericks. They've got Jennings. Johnson is out there with Nowitzki, and it's Rudy Gobert, and it's Lillard in at the one spot. So the Dallas Mavericks are the NBA champions. What a moment it is right now to see the team who played so well together enjoying Clark this NBA championship moment. Well, Kevin, it's awesome to be here to witness what happened tonight. And seeing this team come together over the course of the season and on into the playoffs, what a joy. I mean, there is no better champion the league could have asked for. And a pleasure here at 2K Sports to be with you all season long. Good night, everyone. So what a special year for us. We just breezed through the playoffs, through the Western Conference especially. We just, uh, just destroyed teams as well. We destroyed the Hawks in the NBA Finals in four games. Crazy. Look at this. We destroyed the Thunder in five. We beat the Clippers in five. We swept the Rockets and we swept the Hawks. We went 16-2 and two in the NBA playoffs. Just absolutely ridiculous. Let's, so, let's go see your Finals MVP. MVP was... Damon Lillard, Lillard so 25, 5, 9 assists, 3 steals. He absolutely destroyed the Hawks in four games. He wanted that finals MVP. 
We still have Dirk Whiskey. He did not retire. He wants yet another ring. George Carl is, though, along with Rick Carlisle, going to the Hall of Fame as Paul Pierce. Let's go see this championship winning team here. We got Damian Lillard, Rudy Gobert, Brennan Jennings, Dirk Nowitzki, Hassan Whiteside, Kobe Bryant, Joe Johnson, Justin Anderson, Antonio Blakeney, Devin Harris, Dante Cunningham, Jeremy Evans, Eric Gordon, an injured Eric Gordon for four, six to eight weeks. Wow. And yet we still won the NBA title without Eric Gordon. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this rebuilding video, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what team you want me to do next. And let me know also, also what team, what uh, picks you didn't like, what trades you didn't like, what movies you didn't like, or what movies you did like. Anyways, guys, thank you again so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.